this problem is asking, are these two functions inverses of each other? Are these two functions inverses? And here's how you do that. First of all, you have to use functional comp composition. So if f of g of x, I like to write f of g of x like this, equals g of f of x, and they both equal x, if, if these three are all equal to each other, then they're inverses. If that's not true, they're not inverses. So you have to compose each function with the other one to find out if these are inverse functions of each other. So let's do this. So first of all, let's find f of g of x. So I'm going to start writing f of x. I'll just go ahead and go straight to the answer. I'm going to start writing f of x. But instead of writing x, I'm going to write g of x in there. 7 over x plus 4 minus 4. All right, now let's simplify that. That equals, what happens to this 4 and this negative 4? Cancel out. They cancel each other out, right? These parentheses aren't really necessary anymore. And what's 7 over 7 over x? How do I divide by a fraction? I multiply by the reciprocal. So it's like multiplying by x over 7. And what happens to these two 7s now? We'll cancel, and so look, I got x. Hey, good, one for one. But now this has to be also the same thing. So let's do this one now. We'll do this one in red. This one is going to be, I'm going to start writing g, but instead of writing x, I'm going to write f of x, which is this, 7 over x minus 4 plus 4. See how I wrote? So here was g was 7 over x plus 4. I wrote that, but then instead of writing x, I wrote f of x in there. All right, this looks a little bit uglier, but no problems. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, right? So this is x minus 4 over 7, that's the reciprocal, times 7 over 1, because 7 is 7 over 1, right? Plus 4. What can I do with the 7s? They cancel out. So I have x minus 4 over 1, which is just x minus 4, plus 4. Hey, look at that. What's minus 4 and plus 4? They cancel, and I just get x. So yes, these are inverses of each other. That's how you find if two, two functions are inverses of each other. Also, if you graph them, they're not asking you to do that, but if you graph them, they would be, they would be reflections of each other over the line y equals x. Now for this one, this is actually not going to be easy to see, but there's the line y equals x right there. Whoops. This is the line y equals x. If you were to graph these two functions, which you don't know how to do that yet, by the way, these are rational functions, but if you were to graph them, they would be, they would be reflections over this line. The two lines would be reflective of each other over that line. So remember that for later because you'll eventually get to that and use that fact. But for now, we're not going to mess with that.